My name's Lucy Turnbull. I've been in politics and I have a husband, Malcolm, who's currently in politics. <laughs> That's a bit like Malcolm is my current husband. <laughs> Don't you wish you'd married well? For International Women's Day, David Jones brought together some of Australia's most influential women to talk about what it really means to be a woman in today's society. Women in leadership positions really should be judged on the amount of women they bring up into senior ranks with them. And I think it's yeah. really important as well to spread the message about things like imposter syndrome where girls think they don't deserve their achievements. It's something that a lot of high achieving women feel. I'm a mum, a crap housewife, I'm a crazy cat lady, I can't cook, I can't keep my house clean. I'm dysfunctional but I'm proud of it. I got a call from my manager saying you can't wear those kind of tops on TV when you're talking about such, you know, prominent issues. They show a little bit too much. And I said, why can't I show my tits and have an opinion? <laughs> I don't really think I've ever defined myself or I, I really abhor definition and boxing. I've been with my partner in a lesbian relationship for 38 years. Were you out and proud as a gay woman? Did you have to be secretive? Totally. I think that we've talked about this. The best thing is to put everything on the table. Mm. My mother's very pro-lesbian. Every person, um, she'll say to me, man, I really like that girl. Is she a lesbian? <laughs> I mean, I still walk into rooms at, at my age and, and people think I'm there to get the coffee, A, because I look a little <laughs> bit young, but also because they don't expect that the Indigenous woman in the room is there to chair the meeting. There's a lot of judgement of women who don't have children. Is that something that was difficult for you to deal with or you don't give a rat? It is quite a hard decision. I think a lot of people think they'll be able to juggle it, mm. but you can't juggle it all. You just can't. You get to a certain age and the world starts to feel like they own your ovaries. My eggs are on ice, before you ask, yes. Really? You really did? Yeah, really yeah. Nice. eggs on ice. Mm -hmm. No one knows this, but I'm about to go down the donor route. I went back and I had another six attempts. The 22nd attempt was by far the hardest for me because at that point I, was, I literally woke up without hope. You don't know what you can tolerate until you've tested yourself. It was a, a really difficult thing for me to actually say, I have postnatal depression. What right do I have to say I'm doing it tough when I knew how much I had longed and yearned for this baby? I really felt like I was, I was losing my mind. I was a crazy lady. Did you reach out during when your daughter was ill? Oh, absolutely, I mean, her illness was very short term five weeks and you reach out in a way at that time which is more desperate. Women are very good at dealing with large issues. You know, I'll fret over a kitchen being dirty but somehow I'll take in my stride a child that's dying and, and obviously I had my husband an incredible support from family. When I met Pete I'd actually been single for 18 months and I'm so grateful that I had that period of time. I'm really sick of the question, can women have it all? I'm not interested in that conversation. You only feel like you don't have enough if you don't believe you are enough. The, the best piece of advice of recent time is, is, is to be as impressive as a mediocre white man. <laughs> and maybe you could tell your students that, yes? If I didn't have my family, there's no way that I would have been fearless in my approach. I'm 73, but I've had a lot of work done. <laughs> What people want more than ever is authenticity. People who've had way too much work done to their face look so obviously unauthentic. Yeah. They don't look young, they just look weird. Sometimes when there's an image published of somebody who people think is skinny, the vile comments about these people being skinny is horrible. Like I don't like yelling at my children before mm. school because I think I want them to start the day happy, but the reality is that sometimes they get yelled at before they go to school and I, I'm a terrible mother. <laughs> no, you're not. You're she might yelled. be, we don't know. <laughs> I'm dangerously ambitious. There's been no nepotism in my career. I just do everything, I do everything, I do everything, and then I collapse. I just think I can do it all and I absolutely cannot do it all. Women are still not paid equally. So many parts of the world, women do not have the right to vote still. My husband and I had five businesses between us and we were like ticking every, like the high life boxes, you know. And then I had a, a reckoning, which, you know, could be called a nervous breakdown. <laughs> what did you call it, a reckoning? The reckoning. The reckoning. <laughs> it sounds like a Leonardo DiCaprio movie. As traumatic. <laughs> There's never been a better time for anyone we can be assisted to have the lives that we want for ourselves, whether it be 
someone generous enough to donate an egg, or women and conversations like these. What we're doing today is so powerful and the biggest asset we have as women in reaching equality is the conversation, is each other.